Lots of apps are great candidates for Swift data, and most of the time it takes surprisingly little work to get it all set up. Now in our app here, we have this tab view containing three instances of prospects view. And we want all three of those to share the same data, but have different views in the same data. And in Swift data terms, this means they all access the same model context but using slightly different queries. So in Xcode, start by pressing Command N, make a new Swift file, call this thing prospect.swift, then replace its default foundation import with one for Swift data. We're going to use this file to define the Swift data model to store one prospect, one person we've met on our way. So we'll say at model, class prospect has a name string and an email address string and an is contacted bool like that. Now, with those three in place, just go below is contacted and type in to have Xcode autocomplete the initializer for you. And remember, Swift data's at model macro can only be used in a class, but it means we can now share an instance of that object in several views and have them all kept up to date automatically. So now we have something to store, we can tell Swift data to make a model container for this thing. That means go into our hot prospects app.swift file, giving an import here for Swift data, and then using the model container for modifier on the window group to make that model area. So I'll say here for the window group, model container for prospect dot self, like so. That creates storage for our prospect class, but it also places that shared Swift data model context in every Swift view, uh, Swift UI view, all with one line of code. Now we want all our prospects view instances to share that same model data. So they're all pointing to the same underlying store. This means adding two new properties to that view. One to act as the model container, well, model context, sorry, that was uh, created for us just now, and one from a query for prospect objects. So in our prospects view file here, go ahead and give us thing another import for Swift data. And now we're gonna add two new properties to this struct. We'll say here we have at environment um, dot model context, oops Daisy, is var model context. And then at query with a sort being prospect.name var prospects is an array of prospect, like so. Now, if you intend to use Xcode's uh, SwiftUI previews in the right here, I would recommend you add a model container to keep that uh, thing happy. So down here, just add uh, under the model container for prospect.self, just to keep it happy. And that really is all it takes. I honestly don't think there's any way Swift data can make this thing any easier. Now soon we'll be adding code uh, to add prospects to our uh, system by scanning QR codes. But for now, we're gonna add a simple navigation bar item that just adds test data and shows it on screen. And so I'm gonna change this body here, keep the navigation stack, that's fine, but change the uh, text here. We're gonna say uh, show people and then uh, prospects.count as string interpolation. So we can see it changing over time. And then next to the navigation title, I'm gonna add a toolbar. And for now, I'll have one button saying scan with a system image of a QR code dot viewfinder. And then when the scan button's pressed, we'll make a new prospect like this. And then uh, we will, hold up, there we go. <laughs> we will attach to this the name, email address, and is contact value we care about. So our name is my sample data, it's just Paul Hudson's fine. Email address for me is paul at hackingwithswift.com and is contact will be false. Now we have that in place, we can say model context dot insert that prospect, add it to Swift data. And so now as you can see, uh, we have this scan button. Let's run a bit bigger on the simulator so you can see it here. Our little scan button there. People zero right now. If I press this once, 
boom, people uh, becomes one. And critically, because all these views are pointing to the same data, contacted and uncontacted all change. You're gonna see this count increment no matter which button you tap. 